all right so welcome to this video so in this quick video i'm going to show you how you can solve some of the problems that you have in terms of the hard drive visibility so whenever you are trying to install uh, operating system any operating system on your local machine you may be having problems uh, with the visibility of your hard drive so right now i'm trying to install windows 11 uh, on my local machine and uh, i had the problem with the visibility of hard drive so in this video i'm going to show you how to solve that problem so first of all before we go further i want to show you the setup that we have here so uh, here in the usb drive i have successfully created uh, windows media so here as you can see and now i'm going to show you the real actual problem that we have all right so right now we are booting up our uh, laptop our machine so I'm continuously pressing F2 for the Acer Nitro, but I'm not sure. This key might be different for your device. So here, as you can see, this is the menu that we need. And here in the menu, here, as you can see, uh, we have uh, in the third option, in the fourth option, sorry, F12 boot menu is enabled. So I'm going to uh, save changes and exit. And then yes. And now I am pressing f12 continuously in order to uh, set in order to start the installation process so i'm continuously pressing right now f12 so here as you can see now uh, i have the usb drive and i'm gonna select this usb drive and i'm gonna hit enter and right now this boot process should be underway this installation process should be underway So I think it's going to be quite time consuming, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But it depends on the capabilities of your system. All right, so right now we have this wizard on our screen and uh, this is the normal procedure that we have to go through. And uh, I'm gonna click on next and I'm gonna press on the install now. So setup is starting and now right now here we have to choose we have to go for the option I don't have a product key and in, in your case if you have the product key you can continue with the product key and here I'm gonna go for the Windows 11 Pro version so next and accept just uh, agree with the terms and conditions click and I'm gonna go I, I will be going for the custom installation and now that's where the problem arises right now as you can see there is not any drive visible right now uh, there are three hard drives installed on my machine but unfortunately as you can see none of them is visible so here that's where the importance of that driver comes in so basically in the latest machines uh, you have to incorporate the driver in the usb drive where you have created your uh, windows media so what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna terminate this process yes so and now my laptop will be turned on in the normal mode all right right now i'm going to show you how you can solve this problem so first thing you're going to do is just you have to go to the website of your local machine so since i'm using the acer what i'm going to do is just i will be opening this uh, chrome actually based on your based on your uh, preference you can choose any other search engine or the browsers that you want so here i'm gonna uh, open acer.com since uh, i'm using the acer laptop and from here just click on support and from the support i will be choosing the drivers and manuals so it's in order to determine the name of your model or maybe model number so what you can do is just type cmd and from the cmd you can type the following command and then cs product and then here we can say get name and as you can see this is the model of the laptop that i'm using right now so it is an 500 so here type an 500 of course it's uh, it is an 515 in my case but it can be different in your case and it was 58 if i remember correctly so from here now we have to download the driver and here as you can see we have this irst which is the intel rapid storage technology driver and then i'm gonna make sure that i will be downloading the latest version so here 
I will be downloading this driver and just click on it and then here I will be downloading it in the desktop so here now the file has been downloaded successfully on our desktop now right now here as you can, you can see the file and uh, before we go further I want to mention that I'm using the software which is called 7-zip in order to zip as well as unzip the file so if you do not know what kind of uh, software it is you can just uh, open up new tab and from here you can type 7-zip and then here as you can see we have this software basically uh, which is used in order to zip as well as unzip the files so just close this tab we don't need it we don't need it anymore and from here now since we downloaded the driver what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna right click on it and from here show more options as you can see here we have 7-zip as I said earlier which is used in order to zip as well as unzip files and here I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna go for the option extract here and then it's gonna take some time okay so we are done with extracting our folder so here in the folder as you can see we have the file uh, we have a file called uh, setup RCT which is an executable file what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna right click on that file and from here I will be choosing show more options and here again uh, extract to set up RCT so basically here what we are doing is we are just extracting this executable file and then now here we have this folder and then double click on it so open this folder in order to open this and now right now here we have the file called uh, .txt and what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna right click on it again go for the show more options and from here choose 7-zip and from here extract to this option and now close this so here as you can see right now we have this folder and if I open this folder we have this file with the extension inf so uh, that's the file which we will be looking for in order to install the driver during the installation during the Windows installation process so now we are done with it so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna close this all of it and then I'm gonna select I'm gonna select this uh, extracted folder and copy this uh, folder and go to here uh, in your uh, file explorer so here as I said this is the USB drive which we used earlier so here we have successfully created Windows Media and now I'm gonna let's say paste this uh, copy it or extracted folder so as you can see it's gonna take some time okay so now we are done with uh, kind of including the driver uh, folder in this uh, USB drive where we created a Windows Media installation so here now we have everything that we just did and now uh, I will be continuing how you can install this driving during the Windows installation process alright so right now we are back to our installation process so right now here I'm gonna choose uh, this uh, USB HDD and hit enter so we are gonna wait for some time all right so here we are okay with the following with this follow with this uh, settings so here click on next and here install now so setup is starting right now okay so as I, as I mentioned earlier, if you have the product key, you can continue with the product key. Uh, unless you have the product key, you can uh, click on this option. I don't have a product key. And here I will be going for the Windows 11 Pro version. Next. And uh, accept terms and conditions, custom installation. So again the same problem as I mentioned earlier so right now we, earlier we were having some problems in terms of the hard drive visibility so here we are what we are gonna do is just we are gonna load the drivers from the USB drive where we just unzip the driver uh, folder and also this uh, USB drive in, uh, contains the uh, created Windows media so here load driver and we are gonna browse so this is the USB drive that we used in order to create a media installation so from here we have this as you can see Intel rapid storage technology driver and from here set up RCT and then we have to go for this option and then here click OK so right now here as you can see we have two drivers and then 
we are going to choose this the second option this uh, intel rapid storage technology driver managed controller and click on next and we are going to wait for some time right now the driver is getting installed and it's going to take some time all right guys so right now moment of the truth as you can see the all the drives as i mentioned earlier i have uh, three hard drives uh, installed on my local machine and as you can see all of them are visible so this is the first one and this is the second one and this is the third one so this is how you solve the problem whenever you are having problems in terms of the hard drive visibility during the installation during the uh, operating system installation process so thank you for watching and i hope you are familiar with the rest of the procedure and thank you for watching.